Welcome to the Walk Talks podcast, a resource produced by Southland Christian Ministries located in Ringgold, Louisiana. Our purpose is to provide you with daily devotions so that you can faithfully grow in your relationship with Christ each and every day. We hope these truths will be an encouragement to you as you hear from God's Word today. Good morning, and welcome to Walk Talks. This is Jason Dennis from Southland Christian Camp. Today we are continuing our series looking at Psalm 27, a psalm of David. Let's jump right in and read verses 7 through 10. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou said, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me. O God of my salvation, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Last time, if you remember, we had just started this part of the chapter, and it felt like we were leaving it on a cliffhanger, but today we get to continue that. As David starts off verse 9, he says, Hide not thy face far from me. If you remember from last time, David was earnestly entreating the Lord to hear him, to have mercy, and to answer him. Now, we have him asking the Lord not to hide from him. It's like he is in anguish of soul and does not see God at work. He proceeds by asking God not to put him aside and then even asking God not to forsake him. In our lives, it is all too easy to get wrapped up in the negative things that are happening in our life and not to see God at work. We might be praying for him to work, but if we don't see him at work, we can get desperate. David here was certainly getting desperate. He was in anguish of soul. But before we move on, there are a couple of key things here that we need to grasp. First, David calls himself God's servant when he says, Put not thy servant away in anger. It is important to note here that not only is David in anguish, but he has the proper perspective of humility. He knows who he is in God's sight. It is important that although we are adopted into God's family, As sons and daughters of God, we were created to serve God, and as such, we also need to practice humility in our lives. The verse continues by saying, Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Here, David is shifting his focus in his prayer away from his desperate mindset to one of appreciation and consecration, Even though he is still asking God not to forsake or leave him, he proclaims that God has been his help. How often do we proclaim to others that God has helped us? David then declares that God is his Savior when he says, O God of my salvation. Verse 10 then says, When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Basically, what David is saying here is that should we ever lose our closest family, God will always be there for us. David is not specifically speaking of parents turning against us, but rather any situation where our parents are not there to help, protect, and support us. They may have passed away, moved on, remarried, or rejected us. This verse is not focused on them and what they may have done wrong, but rather the focus is on the fact that the Lord will take me up. God will carry us, strengthen us, provide for us, and support us. God wants us to call him Father. He has adopted us, so why shouldn't we learn to depend on him? So, how can we apply all this? First, it is important to recognize all the time that God is our Savior. When things are going well or things aren't going well, God has been our help and our salvation. Second, God has promised to take care of us. May we choose to depend on him each and every day. Thanks for listening to the Walk Talks podcast. We trust that what you've heard today has challenged your walk with God. It is our prayer that through this podcast, every listener would strive to become more like Christ and faithfully live for Him each and every day. Join us next time, and God bless.